Hey, what's going on, Vault Hunters? Big Bad Dirty Dog coming to you from the Dog Pound. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. We are back here on Borderlands 3, and it's Thursday. You know what that means. Reese's Black Market Vending Machine Reset Day. <laughs> Trying to say that three times real fast. So, uh, if you don't know, Maurice is a character on Borderlands 3 who has his own vending machine. It's usually full of legendary gear. It, it could be all weapons. Usually it's a weapon and a shield, a grenade. It's different every week. So with further ado, let's jump right into it. So this week you're going to jump in on Pandora, and it's always in the base game. It's never in any DLC, so you don't have to, any, if you don't have any DLC, then don't fret, because it's always in the base game areas. So again, you're going to go to Pandora, and you're going to jump in on Ascension Bluff. Now, uh, the good news is, <laughs> when you spawn in to Ascension Bluff, where there's only one spawn point, you can grab a vehicle right here and make your way all the way around here. So up around here, up until here. So you can make it halfway to the vending machine in a vehicle. <laughs> the bad news is you have to get out of the vehicle and the rest of the way is on foot. So I have a good build because uh, you're going to face some heavy opposition. You're going to come around over here and it's going to be right over here. And I'll zoom out on the map so you kind of know. So again, you can take a vehicle all the way over here, and then you have to hoof it all the way over to here. And I'll kind of spin around. It's kind of over by here when you first go in here to the Holy Rapture. And finding enemies here, I did get some legendaries I want to show real quick. I managed to get a Rhina rocket launcher. Not too bad. And I got a compression storm, so got a couple of decent legendaries fighting those guys. But then you're gonna come over here and kinda tucked away in this little hiding hole. It's going to be Marissa's Black Market vending machine. And as always I haven't watched any videos. I have no idea what's in here. Hopefully Mo has something good for it. So let's check it out. So this week he has the Trevenator. And as always, depending on your build if you're into shotguns and you can build around Malamon weapons, this might not be too bad of a pickup for you. We all know the Hellwalker is one of the best shotguns in the game. This one is corrosive and cryo, so not too bad. Not a bad little anointment on it. This one is radiation and cryo. Again, if you're using a salamander, this is a pretty good anointment. And this one is fire and radiation. Good anointments. And then we got the Stark Krakatoa. In my opinion, there's a lot better sniper rifles. Again, pretty good anointments on these. Again, not really a fan of, of this sniper rifle. And finally, the Black Hole Shield. That's a good one for the Beastmaster if you're running Flak Rack Attack. Not very good capacity. But yeah, I will say, just because of the Trevenator, I'll give this week's offerings a 6. Not really good stuff. If you want me to do a legendary weapon guide on the Trevenator, the Krakatoa, or the Black Hole, or any other piece of gear you want me to do one for next week, let me know in the comments. Also let me know in the comments, how do you rate this week's vending machine on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you going to get anything? Do you like anything? Let me know. So that's going to do it for uh, this video. As always, love and appreciate all of you that take the time to watch and comment and like my videos. It means the world to me. Much love to your beautiful faces. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button as it helps me out tons. So until next time, <laughs> stay awesome, stay amazing, stay wonderful, stay fantastic, and as always, stay beautiful, my friends.